Well, I'm uploading the video for day seven and I'm gonna start getting tomorrow's dinner ready. I cooked dinner for the whole family on Sunday. So, chuck roast of some kind. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm realizing it's really hard to find a good place in this kitchen to film stuff. So I have these two chuck roasts and I think I'm gonna sous vide it overnight. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna package them both up. I'm just gonna take this big one, throw it in the sous vide bag. And salt it liberally. I'll, I'll fill up my lid. One, two, three, four. Fifteen. Three tablespoons ish. Or teaspoons. I always get those mixed up. Makes a big difference. Drinking some of that Paso Buku broth, 10.44 at night. <laughs> no rules today. <laughs> Seal it one more time. For this next one, I'm just gonna cut it into portions that I think would be good meals for me. That one. Let's see how much does this weigh. 10 ounces, 10 ounces, 12 ounces, 12 ounces, almost 13, 10 ounces. All right, so like 12 ounce meals, uh, 10 ounce meals. And so what I'll do is I'll just package these up. Nothing fancy, just package these up. I'm not gonna salt them if I know I'm gonna freeze them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna freeze them, but you don't want to salt meat and then freeze it. But if you don't have to freeze it, salt it in advance. It's one thing, just a little bit of, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my back. Get on my knees. It's just one thing how easy and how fast I can prep a bunch of meals. And if I'm eating two meals a day, let's see, one day, two days, that's two and a half days, like instantly. Obviously not instantly, but pretty quick. I'm gonna finish off packaging these up and then I'm gonna grab that hamburger and package it, package it up. If I put this in the sous vide machine, it's gonna cook for about 19 hours. And I would like it to go longer. I'm trying to think what temperature I should do this. Do I want it just to come out like roast beef and then just like slice it and sear it up real quick? or I want to have it go a little bit further. I think I'm going to have it go a little bit further. So, so I usually cook it, I usually cook all my beef at 130 degrees. Just comes out just typically how I like it. This one, I'm going to put up the 145. 145 for 19 hours. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see what the what the kids say and the wife says So I'm gonna do a similar thing with this hamburger Kind of portion out in meals that I think I would eat um, In a day In a day yeah, because if I because I'm not gonna sue me this so I'm gonna defrost it first so I'm thinking about two to three pound chunks. So this shit was 10, took one off. That's nine, one. Yeah, we'll see what I get.
See how close I am. Pound, two pounds. <laughs> Let's see. 114.5. Perfect. One, two. I'll just cut this one. When I look at this big chunk, I'm like, wow, that's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of meat to eat in a day. <laughs> I wouldn't typically weigh my food. I mean, I don't need to, I've weighed it enough that I kind of know what it is. I'm getting pretty close. Yeah, 1.14. One is that right? We started a website, www. Do people still say that? Just go to thekillbylife.com and we have a tab that says our favorite products. And I'm pretty sure I put like these bags that I that I get for the CV machine on there. So here's a trick. Get a rolling pin and try to roll these out. At least a little bit. Because when you put them in the freezer, then you get them out. If they're all rolled out flat, they'll defrost way faster than if it's a big chunk. Well, if the women don't find you handsome, at least they can find you handy in the kitchen. I'll finish this out, then I'll clean up. <laughs> came out here to the garage last night and turned off the dehydrator I just didn't want it running out here all night but I ate part of this mmm <laughs> I may eat the rest of this it's so good I know I know normally you don't want a bunch of fat and beef jerky but I don't care it's so good mmm Hmm, I can tell my body is starting to recover from last week. All the work, it's like I start getting a little bit sore. Uh, I think I'm going to go inside and just have a simple breakfast. This and Asabuco. I think I might just, just have a bowl of uh, the meat and the juice and just call it a day. I got to be careful when I put myself in front of the screen screen because it makes me want to put stuff on the screen but not this time hmm I just got a message from a guy named Pastor Todd shout out and he wrote something about he starting his diet today going to try the lion diet I believe and he said he was praying for self control and yeah self control is difficult I just remind him it's a fruit of the spirit you know, self-control comes from walking and talking with God, really, and maturing. But why, uh, what I have found is it's usually for a reason. And not just your benefit, but the benefit around you, of the people around you. So when I think, like, Aaron, why are you doing this? You probably don't have to go this extreme or this hard at this. I think, well, what does God say about it? And he's been telling me to run at it. Obviously, there's benefit that I need out of it, but I think he's wanted me to do it for other people's benefit. And I and I hear those stories, and that blows me away. That's the real kicker. Pastor Todd, get it done. There's a lot of people here that are rooting for you. Just get on that journey and fall down less and get up faster. If you're feeling the conviction, it's for your benefit and the benefit of the people in your life. We don't 
we're, we're not called to be perfect. We're called to trust in the process. Yeah. All right. Let's go get some food. No black bowls. How um, many? I didn't really have two of those now. Let's see how this turned out. Beef shanks. Ooh. It's like there's really not that much fat. I can't find her. Look at that. It's like a jelly. <laughs> I mean, that has to be good for you. Being indiscriminate. I just I want some food. I'm really doing my best to try not to tell my kids to be quiet when I'm trying to film. I don't want them to, to hate me <laughs> or the YouTube. What what kind of camera work is that? What are, um, you, what are you doing? I'm trying to film your face so that while you're talking to people, but the lens makes you really close. So I'm... Okay, well it might be zoomed in. So this is what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm just gonna microwave it. I'm just call it a day. Easy peasy. Yeah, breakfast done. Thank you for filming for me. Mmm. I weighed myself this morning and I didn't put it on the app though. 231 pounds, so I gained some weight yesterday somehow. <laughs> we got a dinosaur over here. There's something about this. This is just salt, beef, and water. But, you know, it has the marrow, collagen, all this stuff. There's just something about it that just seems hearty and right. Like, you know it's going to be good for you. Mm. Some days I'm on this diet, even carnivore diet, because I've been trying to be very strict on it. I'm like, I need something more. I need some variety. I need something else and just... You just have low days where you don't feel that great about what you're eating. Like it just seems too restrictive and this whole world's going on around you and they get to live life and just indulge in whatever they want. And I can't, but it's never wise to judge yourself against other people in any way. Like if you think you're doing better than them or doing worse than them. It's, it's never wise. Sober judgment is, is where you have to stay. You know, what, what is your goal? Why are you make, why'd you make that goal? Who are you doing the goal for? I get messages like, I would never do this. And I don't know why you're doing that. Like why are you giving this up? You don't have to do this. I know I don't have to, I'm choosing to. And I say that over and over because you have to have that mindset where you remember that you're choosing to do it and why you're choosing to do it. Because if you forget that, you're gonna give in. If I give in, I want it to be because of sober judgment and it's God ordained. Not a fear of missing out on something or not having something that I think I deserve. Healthy, healthy perspective. I have eight kids. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go bye-bye. Church day. We haven't been to church and we had two weeks off. All right, see you at lunch. You know what I'm eating? Ribeyes, you already know. Then ribeyes. See if I get my wife to eat some. After church, lunch is probably one of the most hectic times. <laughs> Our kids are like, just all crying and I'm like, I'm gonna grill outside. <laughs> I got some of those small ribeyes. I asked my wife, hey, do you want some? She said, yeah. So, here we go. Hear the sizzle.
I'm not gonna sit down and eat with you guys today for this lunch, but we will for dinner. Look at that. That I'm only eating half of it. Half half is for my wife. Okay, maybe one third's for my wife. <laughs> Well, howdy ho, neighbor. Cooking. Trying to cook some food for my kids and stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm burning everything. Someone turned the sous vide machine on. This is that chuck roast from last night. I thought it was gonna sous vide for 19 hours or so, but uh, someone turned it off, but it feels perfect. It's probably nice that it cooled down. Let's see here. Yeah, that's burnt. My daughter really wanted hash browns, and I'm like, okay, I'll make some. And I burnt <laughs> the first two I've done, I've burnt. <laughs> Welcome to real life. I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna pull this chuck steak out. Chuck roast. That's a lot of juice. I'm gonna save that. I'm not gonna just chug that right now. It's too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this. I have no room to work with my cake knife. And steaks that are about one inch. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna pan fry them. Look at that chunk of fat in that one. Ooh, hopefully that's mine. But it's perfectly, it's done. You could eat it right now, but you take it and you sear it on that side, like really hot and it get really nice and crispy. Mm, 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 mm. Well, in theory, I might just be burning everything today. Some lard. This is not lion diet. Neither are hash browns, so I'm not eating it, but. Do you know how hard it is to like cook food for other people and not like accidentally like eat the potato off your hand? I did not do it. <laughs> I'm experienced. <laughs> and food safety. At least someone will get a hash brown that doesn't, that's not burnt. I know, I hear you. You ever have one of those days where you feel like everything's just going wrong? Like, I'm burning all the food for my family, and then I'm getting irritated that I can't eat other foods, which I could if I wanted to, I'm just not going to, so that's not true. And not everything is going wrong, but it feels like it. <laughs> I'm a little hot. And then there's this part of me that knows tomorrow I'm gonna have to start up my workouts again, which I like working out, but there's just something about knowing you have to do it. It just kind of gets in your head and gives you a bad attitude. So I'm like, do you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna drink my hot water, I'm gonna do my daily reading, I'm gonna put my shoes on, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna listen to some worship music, it's got some good tunes out there. Not sure what yet. Maybe Jesus culture. Sounds good. All sons and daughters, maybe a mix. And then I'm going to do my workout and then I'm gonna crush my day. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I've just decided right now. But it's so easy to get discouraged and down when you feel like everything's going wrong, nothing's going right. All your plans of, you have to change at the last minute. My, 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 my eyebrows start going down and you just could, I could just tell I'm in a bad mood. All right, these are the times that I make mistakes or treat people like garbage or try to treat myself to make myself feel better. I don't need to. I'm wiser than that right now. I'm gonna finish cooking food for my family and we will live, <laughs> even if some of it's burnt. I'm not planning on burning the steak. I actually have that stock reducing. Well, it's just the meat juice from that truck steak, so it's just salt and beef juice. If I was gonna like make a sauce out of it, I'd reduce it some, add some butter at the end, maybe some garlic powder, maybe some heat of some kind. I don't like black pepper anymore. 
I mean, I haven't tried it in like six months, but just for a little, little flavor. But I'm just gonna have that as an extra Jew, the Jew, <laughs> a, a, a Jew. <laughs> An extra jus. I'm gonna get canceled off the internet. Can't put that in there. Extra jus. Just put on the steak. Making the family omelets also. Just eggs. Maybe some cheese. I mean, I might burn those. <laughs> some little steaks. My wife got me this new Teflon pan. And before everyone freaks out, I know, I know. <laughs> I said, if I see anyone stabbing it, or using any metal utensils or anything on it, I'm throwing it in the trash. I know Teflon's not good for you. It has these like raised things, which it's supposed to protect you, but try to cook it in a cast iron or stainless steel. Yeah, it's quite more of a chore. I just went and asked some of my kids if they want cheese, because some of my kids don't like cheese. Yeah, I know, neither does my wife. And they're like, you can have cheese with omelets? I'm like, yeah. Shelter. <laughs> Roll it over French style. Mmm. It's good. Too bad I can't eat it. It takes us like, ow, that's hot. It takes us like 20 minutes. <laughs> the plate stuff for the kids. These look so good. That looks so good. Yeah, so better not throw that fat away. Cheese, lock, cheese omelets. Cheese omelets. And hash browns. Hash browns. The bottom one might be a little crustier. Hash oh, I love hash browns. I'll try. Some. You want a lot of raw meat on your plate? Well, here you go. Oh, no, that's Arby's. Commercials. Arby's commercials. Wait, can um, I say hi? Like, did you hi. say Arby's commercials? Yeah. Hi. I'm saying hi too. Uh, cool. You want to say hi too? Hi. Can I say hi? Can I say hi? Hi. Sorry. Me? Hi. Hello. Mama. Hello. Again. Hi. Hello. Welcome to their dinner on Sunday. I've been cooking for an hour and 20 minutes. Technically 19 hours, because I started last night. Have I told you that I'm super grateful for you and your hard work and all the love and time you put into not only cooking the dinner, but planning for it. It's a sous vide. I'm proud of you, babe. 
Is this I... a weed? Is this a weed? Is this a weed? Is this a weed? You want more? Yes, you guys got French technique on the meat and a French technique on the. Well, I have no idea about the hash browns, but the omelets. So you guys got them mostly carnivore. You guys are not supposed to eat before we pray. We haven't even prayed in Chisum anymore. Hey, <laughs> oh, you ate all your meat already? Yeah. It's not even gonna bless your body. Wait. Let's see what I'm gonna eat. I mean, that almost feels like too much. That's a big chunk. Oh. Dinner. Oh, good. Jim, try the meat. Is the meat yummy? No. I, I tried to crisp it up. The problem is, it might be still a little cool. Three ingredients to that. Lard, pig lard, potato, and salt. Mm. It tastes like lunchbox. This sauce yeah. it's good. Mm. Adds a lot of flavor. You know what? Mmm, you're very salty. This is great. The sauce, yeah, I just got a little bit of it. You want more of that? You got like, it uses okay. actual sauce. This is good. Like a condiment. All right, 4,362. I mean, it's creeping up there. Thank you. It's creeping up. Thank you. It was creeping down pretty far. <laughs> This is subscriber count. Awesome. Well, seven days was yesterday. This is my eighth day on the lion diet, and I feel pretty good. Little little mental challenge. My, what happens is my body gets ready to rest. I mean, like Saturday wasn't that restful. Today it's ready to rest. And yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna worry about tomorrow today, but I've got a plan. So alright. Kill me out. Bye. Or toodles! Hi. Toodles! Hi! Where are my sweatpants? Boy.